is a fig tree full of leaves. And you can almost picture this with a beautiful leafy fig tree. And then behind it in the backdrop, you see trees, right? guys, um, we're going to do today's Bible passage as we go down the beach here. Anyways, last week we read about Jesus entering Jerusalem on a donkey, fulfilling yet another prophecy that was foretold about him, about the Messiah. And this was told by the prophet we saw and read Zechariah in the Old Testament. Anyways, guys, this week we're going to continue to read in the book of Mark in chapter 11 about a fig tree with no fruit and Jesus' reaction to this. But before we do, I want you to think about these two questions. Number one, what does the fig tree represent in the Bible? And number two, what does fruit represent in the Bible? Jesus talks about these things in today's Bible passage, and I want you to think about what does he mean by these things? What does the Bible say about these symbols? Anyways, guys, we're going to go walk down here and do today's Bible passage. In verse 12, and it says, On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry. He's talking about Jesus. And seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Anyways, guys, that's a short passage for today, so I thought I'd read the whole thing. And um, then we'll discuss it here. Now, if we were just to read this in isolation, not understanding it in context, like many things in the Bible, we would get it totally wrong. And we might think here that Jesus is just simply upset that he couldn't get anything to eat. Now, as foolish as that may sound, there have been some skeptics who actually try to defend this argument here in this passage, and it's a little bit absurd. So remember, we gotta read everything in the Bible in context to understand what it means. And this is very important. So. If we take a look at what had just happened, we read this last week, Jesus had just entered the holy city of Jerusalem and the people didn't even recognize him. The people of Jerusalem did not re recognize him as their Messiah and King. Now, as Jesus and his disciples once again walked towards Jerusalem, in the distance, there's a fig tree full of leaves and you can almost picture this with a beautiful leafy fig tree. And then behind it in the backdrop, you see Jerusalem, right? And this brings us to the first question that I asked you to consider this week. And that was, what does the fig tree represent in the Bible? What does a fig tree represent? Well, the fig tree represents the nation of Israel. And we can read this in the New Testament where Jesus speaks about the nation of Israel in Matthew chapter 24 verse 32 and 35 it says and this is Jesus speaking from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves you know that summer is near so also when you see these things you know that it is near at the very gate Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Now, that's Jesus speaking there. He's talking about a fig tree again, and he's using it as a metaphor for the nation of Israel. Jesus told this parable to his disciples when they asked him about the end of the age and when the destruction of the temple, when these things would take place, Jesus refers to the nation of Israel as a fig tree and tells them when they see these things, the time is near. 
Now, Jesus curses the fig tree in today's passage after they refuse to bear fruit. Now, he had spent nearly three years in ministry, remember? Three years searching the nation of Israel for fruit, and he found none. Now he uses this fig tree in today's passage as a symbol for the nation of Israel. It had all the green leaves, but it had no fruit. Which brings us to that second question that I have to consider. So I think we'll walk down a little further and we'll think about that. That second question was, what does fruit represent in the Bible? Well, that question, what does fruit represent in the Bible? I wanted you to think about that. But let's read in James chapter 3, verse 17. It says, But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Now, from this passage, we can see fruit is the habits and reactions of people, right? Fruit in the Bible means your habits and your actions. Good fruit comes from walking and obeying God through the work of the Holy Spirit. Israel was not walking with God. They were not producing fruit. Jesus now, in today's passage, compares them to a fig tree that had leaves but no fruit. This is a short one today, guys. This passage, next week, we're going to continue reading how Jesus reacts to what had become of the temple in Jerusalem. His response, we shall see, is in direct parallel to his reaction to the fruitless fig tree from today's passage. Now, guys, before we go today, I just want you to remember, as Christians, we need to heed these warnings of Jesus in the Bible. We need to heed the warning of the fig tree in this passage. Jesus wants us to see fruit and have fruit. He wants to see fruit in our lives. He wants to see those good habits. And the only way to have the fruit of the Spirit is to follow Jesus in faith, obeying him and allowing him to prune us so that we're full of fruit and not only leaves. Anyways, guys, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment and uh, come back next week and we'll continue as Jesus enters Jerusalem again, and this time into the temple. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video this week. And remember, true knowledge is meant to be shared. So go out and tell a friend, or two or three or five, or 10 friends what you learned about this week. And God willing, I'll see you next time.